ready to be good partners again. Woohoo! All right, are you ready? Yes, Do you I want am. To go first or you of course, first? I'll, I'll go first. Okay. Um, so I think that you're really gonna love this book. I would. What is it? I would recommend this book. It's The Witches by Roald Dahl. Is yeah. he the one that did the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Is that the same author? Yes, the same author. Have oh. you read that one? No, but I saw the movie. So I feel like I would like that. Yeah, I think you would, he's a really creative writer. So what's it about? Okay, so it's about this um, boy, which we don't really know his name. They just call him the grandson, really. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he has to live with his grandma because his parents died, which is really sad. Yeah. Um, but they live in his old house, and she tells him all these stories about witches, which he didn't know they existed. So he's so like they're scared. real. Yeah, the witches are real. And so she's telling him all these things about how to identify a witch. And so he's feeling really scared. Like uh -huh. he's like, he doesn't want to be alone. And then he meets his first witch when he's alone. What? Yeah, so he's double scared and he's just like shaking and he's in his tree house. But so he didn't get turned into. Well, I probably shouldn't tell you too much. Right, okay, so this is about a little boy. Yeah, little boy. And he doesn't know witches are real, and then he realizes yeah, he that realizes they're real. Yeah, he realizes they're real. Because he sees one. Yeah, and he ends up see meeting two witches during this what? during this book. Yeah. And these witches two are real. Two witch real. experiences. How does the grandma know that the witches are okay, real? Okay, so the grandma is kind of, you don't really know why she knows, but it kind of hints at the fact that she had a job tracking down witches. Like, what? this grandma is cool. Yeah, that is such a right. cool grandma. She is so cool and brave, and I, I wish my grandma was cool and brave like her. What? Yeah, I know. I want to read that book I know. Now. You should definitely read this book. And so Look at all these bald people. Then, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's one of the things. So witches are bald? Witches are bald. What? I know. It's crazy. There's a lot of crazy things. you got to read it. Oh, cool. Um, okay, so he's feeling really scared about it, and then they go on vacation, and then they stay in this hotel, uh -huh. and there's a lot of witches that stay in the same hotel. And so he's double scared, and when he realizes they're the hotel's full of all these witches. So yeah, I'm, that's all I'm gonna tell you. Okay, because I think you're gonna love this book. Okay, all right. So my book, different. It's sad, but in a different kind of way. So it's this rabbit. He's made of china, and he is loved by this little girl. And something happens where he is no longer with this little girl. And at the time that he's loved by this little girl, he doesn't really care like he has all these really nice things and she huh. loves him so much but like he doesn't really think so he's that really he's, not thankful yeah and he doesn't really think that he's capable of love and he doesn't care and so anyway he somehow I won't tell you but he gets away from this little girl and he has a new owner and he has a new owner like three or four times in this book and as he has new owners and he loses people in his life He's starting to realize, I'm not finished with it yet, but he's starting to realize that he is capable of love. And that just really makes my heart happy. It is. It's really, really sweet. And, like, he, the, when he goes to these different places, his identity completely changes because he's a doll. So he can't talk or anything, even though, like, on the cover it looks like he walks. He doesn't walk. He can't talk. He can't communicate at all. And so when different people find him, they just think he's a toy. And so his name's Edward because the original little girl, like, named him Edward, and he's a boy. But, like, at one point, he's a girl rabbit. And at one point, like, he has all these different names and all these different identities. Well, that makes sense, though. Like, when you get a toy, like, you make it your own. Exactly. Exactly. So he changes over and over and over in this book. And his biggest thing is that, like, he's learning how to love. And it's just really sad and it's really touching. And it's, I mean, it, it keeps you pretty like engaged like each chapter is only like maybe eight pages long like uh -huh. I really like chapter books but sometimes it's really hard for me to really read like a big long chapter book okay because I just kind of lose interest. I just lose interest mm -hmm. yeah but this one's kept me really really engaged and it's by the same author who wrote the Caleb Desenaro book okay I so I have movie. a question does he so at the beginning he's feeling like he doesn't care Mm -hmm. about his owner right but does he like start to care about his owner as the book goes on yeah and he cares as the book goes on he cares he finds that he cares a little bit more every single time and he cares about all of his owners and so the owner that he just had like a really sad thing happened and now he's going to move on to a new owner mm -hmm. yeah it's really good it's it's such a good book i never would have picked it up but my friend recommended it to me and it made me want to try it and it's it's a really good book now I feel like I need to read all of her other books I wish there was a second one 
It's oh, such I a good love book. when you find an author that you love and then you just read and read and read. I know, isn't that great? That is so great. So it sounds like our books are kind of different. Like mine is kind of funny and mm-hmm. both of them are fantasy. Yeah, they are. They're both different. I mean, they're both the same in that way, but the a lot of the feelings are different. Right. Well, and mine is fantasy because the things that are happening to him are very far fetched. Uh huh. Like it's not nothing magic is happening in this book, so it's not it's not fantasy like it's gonna jump out at you and be magic. But like at one point he ends up in like the bottom of the ocean and somebody manages to fish him out. What? Like that's not something that would happen in real life. Right. Like usually if toys are at the bottom of the ocean, they just are lost forever. They're just lost forever. Yeah, and at one point like he's at a dump. Uh-huh. And somebody pulls them out. Like, no one pulls things out of dumps. So it is fantasy because it's just things that, like, really wouldn't ever happen. Right. And that's kind, of no how, that's kind of how the witches are. Yeah. It's, it's fantasy because witches? Like, like what, what is that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yay. Yay. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm really excited to swap. I know. Me too. Woo-hoo! I'm so excited. Woo-hoo! So I don't know if we were supposed to record anything, but we had a really good talk. So I'm going to say partner pyramid. Partner pyramid. Yay. Oh, I know. Oh.